From BFFs to bitter rivals, trans actor Candace Kane has had a change of heart about former friend Caitlyn Jenner. Kane and Jenner's friendship developed in 2015 while Jenner was going through her highly publicized transition. Kane co starred on Jenner's former reality show, I Am Kate, and the former friends even sparked romance rumors after reports of them making out. However, Kane shut down speculation of a romantic bond, telling E News in 2016 that they were just really good friends. But in the years since, that friendship has soured to what looks like the point of no return. During a January 2024 interview with The Messenger, Kane revealed that Jenner's conservative political views destroyed their relationship. She said, We just don't really talk anymore because I can't separate my friendship with her and her belief system anymore. Kane added that she viewed Jenner as, quote, a cult member, a Fox News cult member. In 2022, Jenner signed on as a contributor with Fox News and has vocally supported Donald Trump's runs for president. Kane told The Messenger that she's tried to talk to Jenner about her political views but was unsuccessful. And while Kane did reminisce about the previous fun they had together, she's put a pin in their relationship for good. She said, I wish she would see the light. I just don't want to spend time with anybody that can't understand the other side. Of course, this didn't come out of thin air. Kane hasn't agreed with Jenner's political views for years, although in the past, the friendship seemed to always come first. During a 2015 interview with Entertainment Tonight, Kane addressed the backlash over Jenner's admission that she once was opposed to gay marriage. Kane explained, She has come from a place that didn't want to talk about her own gender for so many years. So, she's discovering through her own transition what her life really entails. She is part of this community. I'm suddenly going along this journey with her, and this is the beginning of her process, and I'm really enjoying spending time with her." At the time, Kane seemed confident that Jenner would come around. Kane was also hopeful that Jenner's conservative background could help shift beliefs within the conservative community. A year later, while speaking with The Wrap in 2016, Kane echoed some of those same frustrations and hopes, saying, "...we were frustrated because Caitlyn is so new at this that she doesn't realize the impact that these right-wing conservatives have towards the LGBT community. Is she the perfect spokesperson? No, but who is?" I think it would be very good for women's issues. Tell me now. The actor also used the interview to criticize Jenner's critics, adding, For me, it's alarming that all these people who were praising Caitlyn for so many months have turned on her so quickly. Give her a chance to catch up with herself. I know she's a good person. I know she wakes up every day and thinks, what can I do for the community? But with Kane's most recent comments to The Messenger, it sounds like their political discord finally drove a fatal wedge through whatever might have been left of their friendship. Kane admitted that it was over, adding, It's sad because I've had so many fun times and experiences with her. Jenner didn't respond directly to Kane's comments, but Jenner's team made sure to defend her role at Fox News in a statement to Page Six. Jenner's spokesperson wrote in the statement, Caitlin is proud of her ongoing contract as a Fox News contributor, the only network to employ an openly trans contributor. She reaches the largest cable news audience, bringing a level-headed perspective on protecting women's sports. In the past, Jenner has faced her criticism head-on. In the 2023 documentary series, House of Kardashian, trans journalist Zoe Turr criticized the way Jenner used her public influence, calling her life, quote, vacuous. These people have more money than God. And what have they done with their money? In an October 2023 interview with Newsweek, Jenner responded to Turr's comments, saying, I honestly wish the show had not shown that because it does not represent me and the person that I am. But you know, when you're in the media, you kind of get used to dealing with those types of things. 